Speaking about inspirational leadership, I think it's important for me to first of all talk a little about what inspirational leadership is not. And I think inspirational leadership is not when we sit and conveniently discuss the future and totally ignore what is happening in the present. I think it is not inspirational leadership when your vision is to control the world rather than to save it. And I think inspirational leadership is not when people in power sign the agreement and yet avoid the responsibility to take action now. My name is Desmond Alunua. I work with the Green Africa Youth Organization, as Mr. Simon introduced. But I'm here on behalf of all the inspirational young leaders across the globe. Five years ago, we had a dream. We dreamt of a society where people's job was to solve environmental challenges and to create a healthier planet. This was our dream, and it was our vision. I think as an inspirational leader, you need to have a clear vision that every action that you take, even on a little piece of the landscape, has a huge impact on the whole system. Just like how cutting down a small area of mangroves could lead to flooding, could lead to displacement of communities, could lead to forced migration, and all the consequences that come with that. When it came to implementing our vision, we knew that we needed to engage women and youth as agents of change, because they are at the center of all the challenges that we talk about. And today, my organization trains women and youth to generate income from items that would have otherwise been thrown away. Today, whether it is about creating jobs from urban waste management, or it is about rural innovation, we bring hope, we bring collaboration, and we bring inspirations. And I must add that we are not alone. Across the globe, there are so many inspirational young leaders who are also strengthening collaborations, creating mutual trust, and redefining the struggle for a safe, sustainable, and orderly planet. Just think of Allah Salah, a 22-year-old Sudanese lady who's bringing hope to her country. She's inspiring and leading the citizens to stand against political oppressions. And let's think of the 29-year-old Alexandria Ocatio Cortez, the Congresswoman in the U.S. who is proposing the Green New Deal. And let's think of the very closest to us in terms of sustainability, climate change. 16-year-old Greta Thunberg from Sweden, 
whose call for climate action now is inspiring people across the globe. Alexandria, Greta, and Allah are only a few among the many individuals who have risen beyond the oppressions and the lack of recognition that young people often face. Their leadership is not only inspiring the present generation, but it is creating a vision that is shared by millions across the globe. I think inspirational leadership does not need popularity. Inspirational leadership does not need approval. And inspirational leadership, you do not wait for power. So my young friends, Your inexperience and financial challenges should not be a limitation to the inherent power that you possess. And it definitely should not be a limitation for you to seize the moment and shape this world. Act today. And I mean, let's act now. And to everyone in this room, Please, inspirational leadership is the ability to give young people the space to act without feeling insecure. So do what it takes to share your experience, your vision, your ideas, and your hopes. I invite you all to be bold, break the silos, change the narrative, and share your vision. Because this is the way to be an inspirational leader. And it is the sure way for your legacy to live on even when you are long gone. Thank you.